Spikowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? The Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Here to my eyes. Fellers. I'm just trying to fit in. Can you drive to this one? Right the hell does Mikowski always get stuck? For the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Some panties. If there were bloody panties, we'll would be better. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fifth state, we should ask. And you hear there was no driver. Unless you believe in magic. Okay, let's talk to his woman. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. 
It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough sweetheart, as the saying goes. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Okay. I'm actually getting very close to... You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Get him back on uh, track. Where are we going? KGB on the car 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. Could you be just a green man? You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer! Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels weird. Jessica, uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Of course it did. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. 
It's the truth. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Jessica, I really need you to help me. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie, too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? It's the tale of this town. What if another movie producer wanted to fuck me and I wasn't there? Ballard is definitely up to something. What if another old hug wanted to take advantage of my youth and I wasn't there? She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Get in there and see what she's up to. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Calling the house, not American. What? Get in there and see what she's up to. I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... 
Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. You're behind the wheel. All right, where to? So what's the story? I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick at hysterical female witnesses. Presented to Mark. Great Wall of Babylon, a replica of a replica. Looks like the old movie set downtown. like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Your husband was using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Yeah, fuck. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Did we find him? Or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. 
Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. I'm gonna call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Why did Phelps look at me? Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is... My husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband <laughs> is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. I find it hard to cry for people. Operator, give me R and I. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer, wife, and finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? Bishop knows there's still talk of that event. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way.
Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? They have money. How in money is not wrong. Having money, time, and a very lively imagination. That is a combination. If they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood? Plenty. That would be my answer. work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop was doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. 
That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. I'm about done with you and your accusations. And that didn't happen last time. I think your problem is with Bishop. What now? Why did Bishop want to kill those girls? There must be something more to this place. Do I truly have missed something? Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Maybe that was it. Caffey's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps, Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is. I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Ah, oh, shit! Get us out of here. Keep it steady. I'll try and bust his tires. They really don't want anybody getting the fishes before they do. I need to be closer, Cole.
let's take a quick intermission for news from Washington. Ha! Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. Huh, you know how to piss people off. Oh, I knew I should have driven. Well, if you want to drive, then do it. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down... You can drive. Seems like we're the only one... I think they look similar. I think they are other than a couple of repeated faces I had spotted. The same person more than twice. Usually they are unique. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is not a big mistake. That's running away. Jump for it. Is this really the best McCaffrey's got? Kill a cop, and it's the electric. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Love of God, how many are there? Oh, 
I don't die, it doesn't matter. Now this is what I call a re You shoot them in the feet and they die anyway. That guy is repeated, the w white one. He's a reporter. It was my only re Promoted to homicide. We're back in homicide. Miraculous, isn't it? <laughs> 